Hey guys, Jake Gonzalez 95 here. Sorry for that loud wake up call, but we are here to talk about the game that we all know and love Yu Gi Oh! Today I'm going to be having a little card discussion about this guy, Fireformation Tanky. We all know what this guy does, you know, but for who doesn't, let's read off his effect one time. When this card is activated, you can add one level 4 or lower Beast Warrior type monster from your deck to your hand. All Beast Warrior monsters you control gain 100 attack. You can only activate one Fire Formation tanky per turn. Yeah. Okay, now I hear a lot of people at my locals and as well as uh, my friends and cousins that are players saying that this card needs to get hit again. Either at 2... But a lot of people are like, you know, BAN TANK- No, motherfucker. This is why. Because Tanky would suffer the Dragon Ruler, you know, syndrome. And what I refer to the Dragon Ruler syndrome is- Oh, dropped it. It is that they utilized Dragon Ravine to its fullest. Dra Dragon's Ravine was meant for- Was meant for Dragoonities. And, um- Dragon Rulers were really able to abuse the shit out of that card. And after Dragon Rulers continue its reign of dominance after one ban list hit, they banned, totally banned, not even one, you know, not even limited by one, and now Dragon Rulers are no longer dominant. They're probably tier two in the form of Heratic Rulers. Dragon Rulers can no longer just stay on, stand on their own, even though they still basically run the same engine, just with some Heratics in there. And with the ashes and with the convocations to get off your searches. So on and so on. But I don't want to see this card go down. <laughs> Reason number one, I'm a Firefist player. Reason number two, it would make a lot of other decks suffer. Like, think, okay. Dragon's Ravine suffered the syndrome. It got banned because of Dragon Rulers. And guess what else that destroyed? Dragoonities. The card... The, the archetype it was actually meant for got destroyed when it wasn't even been, been using in there. Now, I know there's good substitutes like Dragon Shrine, but Dragon Shrine does not allow you to add one to your hand. So it's not nearly as good. Sure, it is what they're playing in, um, sure, it's what they're playing in place of it, but it's not as good. Nowhere near as good. So, I think, think of how many decks this would kill. Not only five, five first, which is the deck it was made for, or Bujin, or Constellar, or even the up-and-coming GBs. You know, it would kill a variety of different decks if this was to get hit. Whether it's at two, whether it's gone for good, no matter what. Now, GBs, it wouldn't hurt as much. Even though this is a very viable card for them, they, uh, they also have Proving Ground. It's just that tanky... Allows them to play bear, which is an extra popper and, you know, as diversity to the deck. Constellars. Deck becomes a lot slower. They have no other way to search for costs other than Sheraton. But it still slows down the deck because then they can't search out, you know, Algades or Sombres with Sheraton. They have to rely on the Sheraton to get them their costs. And uh, sure, they still have Rota for one for a Polish, but that's only one Rota. Um, they play three through three costs, and I've tried the deck without ten tankies before. I had the the tankies for it, and it was really it, it it when when it, when it, when I opened up the combos, it was good. When I didn't, it was extremely slow. Um, Bujin, if they don't summon, as you guys will see in my dual series against Bujins. Go and check check them out. I have five, I have my fire first deck versus Bujins and my plant deck versus Bujins. Go check them out. Anyways, as we saw some of those duels, if they if they don't open up any way to get to you Yamato, you know, if they don't get a tanky, if they don't draw Yamato or anything like that, the deck falls apart, falls apart fast. So if this card is to get hit, it will suffer that syndrome, and that's the reason. And plus, Fire Fists aren't even seeing the reign of dominance like Dragon Rulers did. Dragon Rulers won time after time after time after time after time. And they had no competition. You know, Mermails were good. Fire Fists were good. Evil Storm was good. But, none of them could hold a candle to Dragon Rulers. 
That's why Rabin was banned. Fire Fist, you know, Fire, Fire Fist is actually getting beaten by water a lot lately. By a mermail. You know, Bujins are kind of hard to get over for some sometimes. You know, Fire Fists are not as clearly dominant. You know, and I don't want to see this card get banned because of its poor design. You know, Spellbook of Judgment was banned because of its poor design, but that card needed to get hit. You know, if they had Prophecies, Prophecies could kind of compete with Dragon Rulers, but a lot of the times Dragon Rulers still won. But anyways, this card should say, add one level 4 lore Fire Fist monster. That's what it should say. And then there wouldn't be as much of an uproar about this card. But then again, you know, Tanky, great card. Doesn't doesn't deserve to get banned at all, if ever. Now, if some amazing Fire Fist support comes out and this becomes not needed, you know, then, well, obviously don't, don't ban it because it's not needed. Anyways, that's my opinion on banning Fire Fist Tanky. It should never get it. Banning or... You know, limiting to two is okay for the other decks, but five, you know, it's just not, it's just not what needs to happen right now. Anyways, guys, if you guys have enjoyed this, if you guys agree with me, if you guys disagree, let, let me know in the comments what are your guys' suggestions on the overall Yu-Gi-Oh! world and how Fire Formation Tanky fits into it. Uh, so yeah, if you guys enjoyed, leave a like, so subscribe to my channel if you, if you guys want to see future Yu-Gi-Oh! content. Because I will be going up, as always, two videos a day. Um, if not, then, you know, one one video every day. Uh, so, yeah. Like I said, constructive criticism never hurt anybody. And, Jay Gonzalez 95 here. See you guys next time.